Hello guys and welcome back to Small World of Tanks. We're going to be bringing you f three matches today. First one's in my uh, Polish 45 TP uh, tier 7. Uh, this is These matches are all during the um, second True Vision um, uh, test with uh, plus one, minus one matchmaking. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to avoid playing the, pl uh, the True Vision test but... Um, well, wow. just wanted to get some World of Tanks in, so I kind of had to. Um, anyway, this guy, I've had uh, just before this match, I had some very annoying matches, um, <clears throat> and this match, unfortunately, does not start very well at all. This isn't a spectacular match or anything like that, guys. So, because um, obviously the not playing this game very often, uh, very much means that I can't get quite as many good replays for you. Uh, but yeah, this one's not too, not bad at all. It, it gets turned around quite uh, quite nicely. Uh, I'm trying to get shots across as they try to cross because of the true vision, and I'm getting spotted by something. Uh, so I'm pulling back. Someone bounces and hits my mantlet and bounces. Um, yes, yeah, so I am top tier here. Um, yes, my crews aren't very good, so I'm presuming something is over there that has a very good crew on it. Because really, I, I have no idea why I'm getting spotted so quickly here. Like, as soon as I pop up, getting spotted. So this is leaving me in a bit of a problem. Um, do I risk pushing, or do I sit here and try to get shots across? But I don't really want to risk doing that as a... There is Artie in the play, and something is looking in my direction. I'm not even sure what it is. Nothing's spotting it up at the moment. Um, the enemy... Uh, we have a tank over there, so really he should be spotting everything up, but it doesn't seem to be. Whatever's looking at us is staying unspotted. Now I'm just going to try to look for it visually. Um and there we go. Minute man sh so we've got the minute man it's uh, basically one of the most OP tanks in the game is sitting there spotting me before I can spot him. Uh so a bit annoyed had to use my uh, first aid kit and I'm just saying screw it at this point I'm going to where my my team is. Uh there's just no point in sitting there getting shot at. Uh, when you can't see them back. Um, you think I would be able to spot them better because I have the higher ground, but you know, that's the way it is. So at this point, yeah, it's not going well. I've had to use my first aid kit. Someone's looking over there. Um, so we don't, we're worried about crossing here without getting shot. Um, Yeah, and the team is down a tank at this point. So I'm trying to I'm trying to go around the longer route. And I'm worried at this point that they're going to push this flank. Um, but it looks like they're still trying to kill that one TD. So I'm trying to get into try to get into a better position here. Um, we are now pulled back and it looks like at this point we might yeah we're gonna win this game and I'm not gonna do any damage in it but um, yeah obviously something does happen because um, I wouldn't be bringing to this replay if I um, hadn't done anything special in it so they're obviously pushing that TD now he's gone uh, teams are a little bit more equal now uh, I can see some tanks pushing up along this line. He's not looking at me at all. Put a shot straight into his front. Um, see if we can get a shot off that TD. But no, we don't want to get shot by this guy. He's probably looking in our dire general direction now. Um, so yeah, again, artillery is in play, but we have not got shot by it. Uh, no shots have come in by uh, from artillery, so they're. Uh, obviously looking at someone else um, pretty focused on them 
Uh, now that flank is completely gone, I am a bit worried about us getting capped out because if I look at things, that's probably the only way they're going to beat us at this point. I've only got one bit of damage so far in the game. Um, uh, I saw a TD coming across the bridge there. I let that craft panther, well, just stop in front of me. Bit annoying. Um, yeah, so it does look like we could um, could lose this game if they get f in on our flank. Um, that TD is there. I'm worried about him lighting me up. And I seem to be the only one over here. So I'm a little bit concerned about being outnumbered here on my own. As a lot of our guys just don't seem to want to get the kills. We are being capped right now but I don't think I've noticed at this point gonna guess and there we go good old RNG says no to that not impressed so now we're not being capped anymore right I'm gonna think I'm gonna load premium for the minute man yeah and even then I'll definitely be struggling with this thing so we've got to make our shots count looks like he wants to push us which is probably uh, I would thought think oh there he is right yeah we got shot in uh, but he is just better armored um, and he's got more hit points at this point yeah he managed to get a shot in that bounces I think we just hit his gun. His gun got in the way. We're trying to outmaneuver him at this point, which is um, the only th way we can beat this guy. Unfortunately, we had to go the long way around. Oh, he misses, and we're going to reload before him, so we should be able to get the kill unless someone else takes us out. He's trying to angle his armor, but not quite good enough t to uh, bounce uh, premium round. We've gone back to normal rounds. I'm uh, going to try to get as much damage on this TD as we can. There we go. That was a lucky shot there. And there's two tanks left. And we've got a decent amount of damage now and a bit of a bit of assisted. And there we, all we got left is that absolution. So again, I'm loading premium just because this tank can be very trolly. Uh, even though it's a lower tier. Especially once it's, uh, we're just trying to get out, eke out as much damage as we can before the game ends, because we know we're going to win at this point. And there, tracking shot, nice. But it looks like he's probably going to repair it. There we go. Yeah, he's repaired it. Uh, and the enemy, our team's going to get on, so we're going to track him again. Try to farm as much damage, but as you can see, he's bouncing a lot of shots, even side on. Um, at this point, I think, yeah, we're, we're not going to win this. Uh, we're not going to get another kill. Um, but, yeah, we do. We managed to get in. We got two kills in that game. Uh, Minuteman and the Absolution, so two OP premium tanks dealt with. So, yeah. And we managed to farm pretty much. Those are the only two tanks we killed. And we, um, the only two tanks we kind of damaged. Um, and we farmed them for most of their health. So we came top by quite a bit actually in the end considering how badly we started that match um, so yeah that was pretty nice in the end um, uh, and I think the next match is uh, Drogon um, tier 8 premium so we'll uh, just quickly get into that one Yeah, we've already started this, I'm afraid, guys. We're already a, th a thousand damage in. Um, yeah, we're up. Yeah, that was annoying, that missed, because we could have taken that guy out. We are pushing up the uh, this flank. We're actually outnumbered. There are tier, um, tier 9 tanks in this game. Um, but luckily, this is quite an OP tank. It's... It's um, we're hitting a lot of um, well armored tanks. That if I was in a normal tier eight, I'd be bouncing pretty much all these shots. Um, but luckily, it's got good pen, good alpha in this thing, 
Uh, it's very fast and manoeuvrable. Um, it's just the reload time that sucks on this thing. I'm going to try to get a shot in on the... No, unfortunately got taken out. Um, yeah, this flank was actually... Um, probably out, we were probably outnumbered, uh, but they were just not playing all that well. And yeah, we take that guy out. That's a very nice tank to take out. A nice TD to take out. It's a very good tank, that. Um, proto. Um, yeah, so we're going to try to get in on the side of this TD here. This guy's probably going to stay where he is, uh, being pushed. Uh, unfortunately, it is a tier 9 TD, and he bounces. So lucky for that to bounce. Um, but also unlucky that we had that... Um, whatever it is, tank behind us, who's stopping us from falling back in time um, yeah just missed that shot as well that would have been good to have got that in we are now winning but quite comfortably um, yeah that god awful looking tank I don't know I can't remember what it's called and uh, we finished as a tier 9 or a tier 9 off so we've got two kills now this guy's on full health but he's not going to stay on full health for very long um, yeah another Halloween tank not quite as awful as the other one, but still pretty bad looking. So now we've got three kills. Um, I can't really read. Just uh, over 2,500 damage. Um, we're going to go... We presume that the last two... T uh, the t uh, artillery in the last uh, medium was over here. But actually, in fact, the medium does turn up on near our base. Um, so kind of think I was trying to spot him manually from the true vision but he's obviously not here um, and this guy on the right here he's pretty adamant he wants to get the kill um, and to be honest I don't think he deserves it that much he's trying to block me here um, and yeah a bit unsportsmanship of him um, but yeah I think he's was um, done well simply because his tank is just so well armoured he was he was being a bit crazy and pushing out into the open a, a lot there I think if he was a normal tank he would have probably been killed by now um, but yeah I can take I can take a hit um, just not a full on pen from a uh, artillery at this point so there's only heavy in that artillery left uh, he's not there so possibly on that island uh, if I was listening, I would have heard that the artillery was on that island, but he didn't get spotted until now. I'm a bit slow react. Turret um, traverse on this isn't great. He's he's uh, just fired. Uh, I actually don't know this at this time. Obviously, I was have turned to go onto the island if I heard that uh, artillery shell go off. Um, but, um, yeah, we're going to try to get onto the island and Get him, get him killed. But um, unfortunately, this isn't going to happen. I'll see if I can get a shot from here. No, unfortunately not. Yeah, unfortunately, then what happens here is um, the artillery kills himself. Artillery will be scumbag until the end, I suppose. And I accidentally. Yeah, I accidentally go into the water. I was trying to shoot him. Um, just, just in time. I finish before I, before I kill myself. Uh, so yeah, didn't have a decent match in this thing. I don't seem to have many bad matches in this thing at all. It's got pretty much everything I kind of want in a tank. Uh, speed, um, uh, good penetration, yeah, good shell velocity. Um, not too terrible aren't you? you saw a bounce of tier 9 uh, and yeah we've got quite a good score in that considering uh, yeah and our next match our last match will be in the machine on mountain pass um, I actually tried to tr trim this um, this clip before I uh, um, uploaded it um, unfortunately the recording uh, thing on PlayStation Crash and I thought I lost it but it was actually on here but it, it, I had to trim it manually on the share factory um, yeah so Mountain Pass I normally go to the JK line 
um, and I am going to try to do that but it's very very risky um, I'm only trying it because I'm in this fast uh, fairly decent speed machine um, if I was any slower than this you know if I was like a couple miles an hour slower than this uh, machine I would not be risking this because basically they can get to this uh, open and just spot me manually manually they don't even have to uh, use the um, normal detection and we do get spotted just so we're gonna try to get shots against uh, any tank who are crossing that that way um, who are a bit slower and I personally would have thought no one's that's part of the uh, part of the problem with this true vision especially on this um, particular map is they're not gonna go across there but they, they do I don't know why um, you got penned uh, that was aimed at the object 140 but yeah it hit someone behind uh, I'm not sure what this problem with this 140 is he's just sticking himself out far too much there and he took more hits than he, than he should have he should have backed off uh, really especially when he saw that it was a machine auto loader um, but yeah he seems uh, quite adamant to, to sit there so we uh, hope I'm guessing he's hoping to see some juicy targets just roll past uh, and yeah and again it's stuck out there taking those hits more than he should and he's tracked a yet again there don't know where that shot going he's so lucky he must have a pretty good repair crew on that and again that shot not sure where it went must have gone under his tank and in between the uh, track there but he does get finished off there um, so that's good um, but again a lot of tanks have gone to the JK line which is a very very surprising with the true vision test now a lot of tanks do not bother going to that side of the map with true vision because it's such a big risk risk going across the open and I totally understand that I tend to not bother going to the JK line when the true vision test is on um, uh, now really I kind of want to go down into the middle here and get shots across to the uh, the um, BC line as they're coming across there um, but unfortunately um, enemy tanks on the JK line are on that little uh, H H4 is it? H4 um, spot where they can get shots across the valley uh, so I'm not going to risk it um, I'm going to push and help help these that TD and that heavy on this side of the map and then this guy com po comes up uh, yeah just yeah we think that uh, that tank was o just over here but he's not he's behind behind the hill so we might as well at this point I actually yeah I've loaded Hesh guys I I didn't realize I loaded Hesh and I keep forgetting to take the Hesh off there's absolutely no no reason to really have Hesh on that autoloader because it's just too risky and yeah it does um I do, I hope, luckily it doesn't get us in too much trouble doing this but um yeah big mistake by me but we're gonna win this game uh, and there he is uh, first guy and I don't fully aim in that's when I realized I've got Hesh and I'm like I've pet hit him yeah I'm annoyed there I'm annoyed uh, luckily it bounced the shot uh, and they were pretty focused on that TD uh, this guy had such a little bit of health left I could probably ram him to death but um we don't want to risk going out into the open here where we could get shot uh, from the um, bridge area. So I'm pretty much fully loaded. He um, he unfortunately tracks me. We've got a fast repair on this. We do have a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, consumables. Uh, then we see this heavy. 7058 yeah we're actually probably in a bit of trouble here we unload three shots and we, but only two pen we try to get down in this dip uh, but that TD comes comes and helps us finish him off at this point I think yeah we're not gonna uh, probably not get any more damage in this game so you know we've got two kills just under 3,000 damage and about 300 um, assisted at this point so not a massive game here um, but actually I do manage to get a bit of extra damage here guys um, can you guess which one 
yep there's the artillery waiting for us and he just splashes us for a tiny bit of our health um, so we're very lucky there actually I don't think he actually uh, I think he might have just done a bit of damage to our track or something um, but literally little bit of damage if to not if nothing and then I realized actually we potentially got the chance to take out that TD here um, if we if we speed it up and I was considering reloading to uh, heat but we're probably gonna get him side on he takes out the chieftain this guy is just sitting on the cap um, and now all he has to do is face off against that other TD now the other TD probably has got, got a big gun and probably could take him out but we're hoping he bounces I'm pretty sure he actually fires and bounces um, his shot uh, so we're gonna try to get in and finish this guy off and there we go nice so we got four kills uh, in the end there we had a decent decent game there um, just a lot of repositioning um, trying to use that true vision to our advantage um, and doing some quite a bit of flanking as well um, bit of indecisiveness indecisiveness uh, probably held us back from a bit of extra extra damage but we came first uh, in our team um, considering we had quite the win there that's a pretty decent uh, game we had um, yeah and hope you join us for some more videos um, I should bring out a couple more um, games pretty soon bye guys